Here we are, back beneath the city of Trino in the game Final Fantasy IX. And we're gonna go find our way to Alexandria somehow through this crazy tunnel underneath the city. The whole concept here, I guess, is a little bit goofy. Because after all, like, this kind of weird transportation system, but you'll see what it is in a minute or two. It's like, very fantastical and all that kind of crap. But you have to think, like, inside the logic of the, this world that we're playing the game, and they had to have some sort of a method of traveling long distances. And this, I guess, is a sort of a subway to them. Now, it was obvious that airship travel hasn't always existed. In the history of the game, airship travel was something that really only came about over the previous 40 years or so. So that essentially makes it so a majority of the people that are alive at this point were uh, either have spent the bulk of their lives in the world of where air travel was common or were born after airship travel existed. So these people like, really don't know much about what life was like the way before. But the way Tot talks about it is like, we wanted to maintain this, you know, Tot seems like a pretty old fellow. So even though this is sort of like an antiquated way of tra antiquated way of travel, he'd want to maintain it. Uh, this button over here will eventually get us going, but it's not working right now. Now it's no rather, no matter how well they restore it, it's always going to have monsters because there's mist everywhere down here. And it seems like the actual, like, locomotion of this thing is powered by the mist. Not in the sense that it looks like a mist engine, but you'll see in a second. So that's it. It's a monster that's got a basket attached to it, and we're going to ride that all the way to Alexandria. Get us there pretty quick, though I'm not entirely sure how long it would take in, in terms of, like, not in terms of gameplay, but like in-universe time, that kind of thing. It's going to stop to eat that, and we'll be able to board the carriage. Go ahead, jump down. I'm sure it's safe. Oh, nope. Uh, I would imagine so. 
Okay, boss battle time. I'm gonna go and steal from it like usual, and then go and just wipe it out. This boss isn't really a terribly difficult thing, I think. So, you know, just smack it around a little bit. Now, obviously, Marcus, by this point, it's pretty clear that Marcus is just a temporary character. Now, he has some of the abilities that Zadon does, in the sense that he can steal and do all that kind of stuff. But he lacks the ability, he lacks certain abilities that the other characters would have, such as being able to equip the abilities that um, he gets from his armor and all that kind of stuff. And that kind of, like, limits his usefulness. But, I mean, the, all these temporary characters like Marcus and Blank and all that are still, like, pretty good fight at fighting, so it's better to have Marcus here than just Steiner and Dagger. Oh! I put Shell up instead of a barrier. That's what I needed. Whatever, let's get everybody cured. Bone risk! Nice. It's nice to have seen them go back a little ways in this game to a time of having class as characters with specific classes. This character has a certain ability and there's certain powers and all that kind of stuff. Final Fantasy VI had that, Final Fantasy VII did not. I mean, there were differences in characters in terms of like their magical ability, physical strength, all that kind of stuff, but it wasn't really that significant. Whereas uh, in an eight, I think the difference between the characters was even less significant. So everything, uh, the differences you had in the characters' abilities came down to what you would equip with them in terms of weapons and magic. In this, it's pretty damn clear what characters are intended for. There's a rather fine line separating somebody like Dagger from someone like Steiner. Steiner is a bruiser. He hits hard, he takes pretty good hit himself. Whereas Dagger is quite clearly a white mage class, someone who goes and supports the other characters by healing, and she and once I get enough MP, she'll be able to go and become uh, an idol with physical attacks, but she herself is not really a physical threat. Somebody like Marcus, or Zidane for that matter, is somewhere in the middle. Uh, thief class, which is what Zidane is, we're not seeing him here, but he's in the game, <laughs> so I'll talk about him. Uh, both, uh, thief classes have always felt kind of strange to me, except for in this game, because the thief is usually like, they don't have a high enough attack power to really do a whole crap ton of damage. But they don't really have any alternative forms of damage. Characters like Riku or Locke and all that were sort of like that. Uh, we reach the other end. I wonder how long it actually took them. You're under Alexandria, dude. And... Oh, look at this place. Idiots. Yeah, yeah, 